All right, guys, got the trailer loaded up on the truck. And we're over here at Charlene's. Anthony and Mel's mom been working on something for about a year. And today is day to take delivery. Check this out. All right, guys. Thank you, moms. I appreciate it. You're welcome. It's going to good hands. Yes, it's going to be nice to see it on the road again. Oh, yeah. She is going. Beautiful, beautiful bike. She's going to the fixing shop right now to get it to go through, get all of the floods checked, brakes checked, tank checked, a little tune up action. We're going to take the uh, training wheels off. <laughs> The Voyager kit, right? Voyager. That, the Voyager mm -hmm. kit. This was a very good alternative to the trike. Yeah. Uh, the trike was so expensive, but these, um, we, we need to find a buyer for that. Yep. Yep. We're going to work on it. I'm going to talk to them at Harley. I like the fact that it comes with like a little tow package. Right. With yeah, that. Really that nice. That's pretty cool to be able to tow a little trailer. Mm -hmm. Domino was like, let me go. Let me go. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get out of here. I'll bring y'all back tomorrow when we go to Harley. Come on. Good morning, guys. Well, we're about to head to Fort Smith to the Harley dealership to drop off this Harley. Uh, what they're going to, what they're planning on doing at the Harley dealership is we're going to take this trike little kit off. I think it's called the Voyeur uh, kit. And they're going to go through the bike. The bike's been setting for over two years. So, going to get them to go through it, uh, change all the fluid stuff, check the brakes, uh, gas tank, all of that kind of stuff. Get it running to its prime situation. This, guy, this right here, guys, has been about a year, year and a half in the making. Uh, Charlene's been thinking about selling it for a while now. I've been saving my pennies behind the scenes and talking to her about it. And I finally saved up enough money, and uh, we ended up coming up with a fair deal for both of us. And yesterday was the day that it all finally came together. I am glad that we was able to uh, come up with a deal. I'm also glad that uh, the bike is actually going to start getting ridden and uh, not just sitting there. The worst thing that you could do with these bikes and stuff is not ride them. So, happy about it. And with Tim and Anthony and Drew... And quite a few others around me that have bike it'd be real cool for us to be able to kind of be able to get out and ride these beautiful backcountry roads that we have here and i'm looking forward to it i used to ride bikes all the time whenever i was younger but then when i was raising my family and stuff i went ahead and got rid of my bikes and i didn't feel like it was a necessity at the time but i always said that when i start driving bikes again i wanted to get a harley after my kids were raised well they're raised and I'm in a gorgeous place to ride. And so it all came together. It just took a little bit of negotiation and a whole lot of saving to be able to uh, make this happen. So I'm glad I was able to make it happen, but we're not done yet. Uh, we gotta get this thing to the shop and get it in prime condition. All right, let's get this thing dropped off. We got a busy day today. Uh, also gonna go to a feed store and help out another homesteader here in the area. Uh, that needs me to pick up some stuff from the feed store for them because they do not have a truck All right guys, let's start this adventure why I'm going to drop off the new Harley I'm gonna check on the old one and see what the status is on that one Which would be Levi's bike in the future to ride with me when he comes up here All right guys just got an update on the 82 Sportster. We are waiting on parts But it is running. Uh, I think Tim from Ridge Life uh, was here when my son was here and we stopped by here and we actually heard it fire up so if you want to see it fire up go over there to uh, Ridge Life and check out that video but that's her parked off in the corner that'd be a cool little learner bike for Levi to ride all right let's continue on to Harley all right, guys, we made it. Let me go in here and talk to him. Get this thing set up.
<laughs> All right, guys, made it back to the mountain. She didn't get a chance to record over there at the other homestead. But I got them uh, six bales of hay and some goat feed. And I went ahead and picked up three bales for myself and a whole truckload of feed for these guys. Got the baby over there looking all cute. They are actually getting moved tomorrow, but we got rain coming. So I need to get this hay up underneath the tarp and go ahead and get the feed in the barrel. So let's go ahead and get that done. We got the goat situated. Let's back up here and unhook the trailer and then we'll go ahead and do the rabbit, chicken, and dog food. Cock a doo doo. Cock a doo doo doo, guys. What are you doing, parkour?
right, the chickens and ducks and rabbits are taken care of. Now I need to go do the rabbits over there in the rabbit tractor. Put the dog food in there and get Domino and Eclipse fed and Midnight. walk over there and get Eclipse fed, Domino's fed, Midnight's fed, the baby rabbits are fed. Baby rabbits are getting big guys. I'll show y'all them here in a minute. You ready to eat girl? Eclipse is starting to shed. I gotta get the metal brush out and get her combed out. It's starting to heat up so she's starting to lose that winter fur. All right, now we need to unload some gas cans. You can see it getting cloudier. The rain is definitely coming. got all that unloaded all the gas cans generators crunk up had to take a couple things out in front of the truck too and also some boxes over there i'm still waiting on some more that's going to be a big video for you guys uh, in the future big big changes but i told you i'd show you the rabbits check out these guys they're getting big 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 it's time to move them i'll be moving them tomorrow when i move the goats i'll be moving them to that section but as you can see there's a whole lot of poo poo on the ground once the rain comes and that gets all mixed in that's going to be great for that area right there i also forgot to take the two ramps out the back of the truck we're going to have to stop at the boneyard and drop those off Whoo! wide open on the mountain guys wide open we're also going to run down i got to give a package to drifting dreamers and they're leaving here soon so i need to touch base with them about taking care of their animals Let's head down to the landing.
Special delivery. How are you? How's everybody? <laughs> We're on the move today. We just got back, actually. Yeah, I figured y'all would get pretty close. Uh, I went to the post office in Havana. And this was there for you. Oh, nice. I think we've been expecting that, actually. Oh, yeah. She's here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Where's uh, the skinny guy? Well, show me the dog stuff. Okay. He went to take that battery to the... Oh, to the lady? I thought he was doing it when he got back. I thought so. Odin! Odin! I thought so. Well, that is Odin. That's Odin. I'll be babysitting Odin this week. You see the dog food? We're going to yep. refill it for you. He hasn't yet, anyways. <laughs> you let Halo on this side where she's at. He'll yeah. jump on the pen. He was doing that this morning. Hey, Wednesday. Wednesday, hey, girl. So it, over here it's real easy to yeah. get into where she's at. Hey, Halo. Why are you snooping my butt already? Yeah, he'll figure it out fast. Get out. Well, cool. I'll bring y'all guys back. All right, guys. From the last time that we seen each other, it has rained for about two and a half days, and we are finally getting a sunshine day, and it's supposed to rain again tonight. So we're going to go ahead and get the yard cleaned up a little bit because the dumpster is empty right now. And I've got a ton of boxes that need to go and get broke down. Plus, I got some over there in the boneyard. I have been busy, busy uh, doing some things behind the scenes. And it's time to clean it all up. So let's get this all put in the truck. And we'll break it down there by the dumpster and get it all thrown away. Are you ready, Domino? You ready? Let's get it. Well, that ended up being a lot more than I thought it was. Hopefully it breaks down pretty decent in the dumpster because that's not all the boxes. Like I said, there's some in the boneyard. We'll see if we can get them in. If not, I'll have to wait until next week. Let's go ahead and go down to the dumpster, get these broke down, put in, see what kind of space we got left. All right, we made it down to the end of the road with no losses, so that's a good thing. Huh, now the real work begins, breaking it all down and putting it in the dumpster. I have a funny feeling it's about to be full.
well that took a little bit of doing but i got it all broke down and a whole truckload of boxes and some other trash fit into the dumpster and still got a room for a little bit more trash throughout the week a couple of trash bags and whatnot we're not going to have enough room to fit what's in the boneyard i'm gonna have to wait until next week on that but this has been a uh, all over the place type video guys thank y'all for joining if you're still here if you want to see what all of that stuff in those boxes are actually being used for go over to my come on keeping it real channel and uh you will see it there Whew. that was a lot of boxes to break down but i think that's going to be about it for this one guys and until we see each other again come on let's go on another adventure